Around 3,000 actors, more or less, gets a minute to each co-star breakdown, one gets chosen, so, all else being equal, the odds of booking any one particular co-star are 1 out of 3,000. So, the probability of eventually booking a co-star role is probability P equals the first time you try, 1 out of 3,000. If you don't book the part after your very first attempt, totally understandable, you can try again with a different role. For this proof, we'll say that you have the chance to be submitted to a co-star breakdown once per day. I think that's unrealistically optimistic, but this will just give us the best case, quickest possible scenario for how long it'll finally take to book one of these roles. So, the odds of booking the role on day two aren't just one out of 3,000 again. That would imply that after 3,000 times of trying, you have a 100% guaranteed shot of making it, doesn't work that way. The odds of booking the part on day two are really the odds of not booking the role on day one and then booking it on day two. So that's plus 2,999 over 3,000 for day one. 3,000 actors get submitted, 2,999 don't get chosen, and then booking the role on day two, one out of 3,000. If you don't book the part after your second attempt, that's cool, you can keep trying. The odds of booking the role on day three are really the odds of not booking the role on days one and two, and then booking it on day three. So that's plus 2,999 over 3,000 for days one and two, so we'll square that. And then booking the role on day three, one out of 3,000. So, now we can see a pattern start to emerge here. You just increment this exponent by one for each subsequent day. So, the final term of this series, the odds of booking a co-star after n number of days is plus dot 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 plus 2,999 over 3,000 to the power of n minus 1, not booking the roll on n minus 1 days, and then booking it on the nth day, 1 over 3,000. This is the series we'll be dealing with. Uh, it doesn't look very nice right now, but we can keep going. So, right off the bat, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 3,000, because we have that in the denominator in every single term. Now, the issue is that we have these ellipses here. We don't know how many terms we're dealing with, but watch what happens when we factor out a term. This is the term we factored out, and now we have this series in here inside the brackets. But look, this series in here is this series up here. 1, 1, 2,999 over 3,000, 2,999 over 3,000, the rest of the series. They end on different terms, but we can deal with that pretty easily. So, let's substitute into these brackets what this series, also this series, is equal to. 3,000p. 3,000p equals 1 plus 2,999 over 3,000, and then we've substituted the 3,000p in here into the brackets, but 3,000p gets us all the way to the n minus 1 term. We only want to go to the n minus 2 term, which is the term right before. So 3,000p gives us everything we want plus that one final term that we don't want, so let's just subtract that. Minus 2,999 over 3,000 to the power of n minus 1, that gives us to the n minus 2 term, and then close bracket, and now look, we've gotten rid of the ellipses. Now we can see everything we're dealing with here, so let's just simplify. 3000p equals 1 plus, these 3000s cancel out, so we get 2999p, and then since we're dealing with the same fraction here, we just add the exponents, so that's n minus 1 plus 1 gives you n, so minus 2,999 over 3,000 to the power of n. Great, so let's keep going. Through the magic of editing, I'll move this up here, and then let's subtract 2,999p from each side. That gives us p equals 1 minus 2,999 over 3,000 to the power of n. So we've solved for the probability, which is cool, but that's our independent variable. It's n we're trying to figure out, so let's keep going and try to solve for n. 2,999 over 3,000 to the power of n equals 1 minus p. Now let's take the log of each side so we can get n out of the exponent. n times log of 2,999 over 3,000 equals the log of 1 minus p. And that gives us n equals log of 1 minus p over log of 2,999 over 3,000. And now we've solved for n. So now all we have to do is pick the probability we're going for. So let's say we want to figure out how long it'll take to accrue an 80% chance of finally booking a co-star. We just plug 80% or 0.8 into p, and that gives us about 
4,828 days, which is about equal to 13.2 years, which is a while. There are a lot of things I could bring that number down. If you have a better than average resume, better than average headshot, a really good reel, representation that can get you in the door. But the numbers still seem to suggest that by itself, auditioning may not be a great way to get discovered. That if you're an actor, you should be making your own work so that you can show people what you can do more than once every 13.2 years. That's the path that I started on some years ago. I now have a very small feature that's logistically ready for filming. We're just looking for the money to be able to follow through. If you'd like to support, the link to the fundraiser is on my profile page. If you're an actor, hopefully these numbers are useful to you and can help you make more informed decisions about how to spend your time.